warm welcome back to Evergreen Valley for episode 5 with me, Mr. Sealy P. Ladies and gentlemen, it's quite early, it's 7 minutes past 7 here in Evergreen Valley. Today could be the day. We do have a contract actually. There are a couple of contracts available. Let's turn the lights out on our way out. Looking like a lovely day, a little bit overcast, a little bit cloudy, but that's not too bad. Um, I've got the last of my fertiliser production. So the last of, I can do as much as I want. Um, we have run out again and we've got 5,872 litres in here. As you can see, our money's gone up. So we have been producing that in the background. As far as my productions over here go, I'm out of barley here. So I've got sorghum left in here, which is running... Uh, not much of that left either, and then the canola is still running, so I've got a pallet of each at the moment. And then over here, everything that was producing here, the barley and the sorghum, then this one I had um, wheat in. I've now got 36,000 litres of flour, and that will be produced into noodles and, until that runs out. So that will keep chugging away. Like I said, over time, that will earn me more money than if I'd have just sold the crops or if i'd have just sold the flour it will earn me more money but it's going to take me a little bit longer to get that money back but i will get it which is great um as far as our field goes here i think we've got weeds we got weeds we need a hoe so we're going to be doing some hoo hoo hooing at some point i'll go and i'll i'll go and grab one um we'll grab a hoe and we'll get round and we'll get that sorted in hopefully in this episode but we needed four hundred fifty thousand to buy the coal mine. We've got that. I'm going to take this last little bit. We'll deliver that. And then what we'll probably do is... Um, I don't know whether or not to get on with the contract we've got. We've got a corn contract on field 18, which is the next round field. Got this one here, the next one over in the middle. And then what we're going to do is we're going to whiz up to um, the mine. Dorsey Coal is what the company was. I think we're going to keep the name the same. Yeah, we'll keep it Dorsey Coal. And um, it was established in 1966. So why not? It's a long pedigree. What's that? 50... 50... 57? No, hang on. 66, 76, 86, 96, 2006, 2016... Yeah. Now, if you're watching both Let's Plays at the moment... Um, they're kind of overlapping a little bit. We're doing oh, we're doing farming on both. That the, the other one on Mars, that Mars the mission, is um, what's the best way? It's, it's not too bad. About the same as what it was before. That's more of a not a competition, but it is that it's a challenge. There are certain parameters we've got here, um, and it's like I said, it's not about earning money buying more land because you own it all anyway this one is this is more terrestrial it doesn't even look as if there's a train coming that's one of those ones when i don't look when i pull out a junction that's all well and good at a junction train tracks not so much so yeah we're doing sort of mining and stuff on that but we're also going to be doing it on here but there's different things because obviously on there We've got some very different ores and things that are being brought out of the ground. I mean, we might get some of those. There might be a bit of an overlap. But we're going to be doing coal on here, and we're going to be doing that marble, hopefully. But I, that was one of the first things when I went round this map originally. It was like, marble, that's something different. I want to do a bit of that. Um, that's not so we're not going to do some of the other things. And we are still doing the farming in here as well. So, bit of everything. Dorsey Coal is the coal mine. I suppose we should really look into if we're going to do this properly, we should get a proper dump truck, shouldn't we? These remind me of um, Die Hard 3. Anyway, all these things I'm being reminded of today. Should we do it? Let's do it. We purchased it. What do we require? To extract mineral coal. Maintenance tool. Oh, we need both. Oh, we need everything. Maintenance tools, mining equipment, vehicle parts, and electrical charge. Now, the electrical charge we don't have, so we're going to need a generator. But we are going to get all of this out of it. Which actually, yeah, we are going to get a bit of overlap. We're going to get some stones, we're going to get some iron ore. 
dirt and sand. I don't know. We'll see what we can do with all that moving forward. It was it was more the coal I was interested in. Um, it's interesting that if we take the coal to the refinery, that will produce electricity, which we then need here anyway. So I'm going to need more. We're only we're down to 36 grand now, and I don't think I've got enough to buy all those parts. Um, I can't remember how much the generator was. Do we own any of the land after, after doing that? What do we own? So we're up here. We don't. <laughs> so we don't. So even though we've bought it, we don't actually own any of the land here that it's on, which is great. So I can't even put a generator here. How much was the land up here? Oh, that's um, yeah. Well, at least we can get it running. Can we? Maybe I, I didn't. Mm. <laughs> More work is required. We own the mine, but um, that's as far as we're going to get with it, I think. But so we don't own the land here yet, but this is where it is being extracted. And that's where we will collect from. This facility is just staggering. It would be nice to get to a point we could afford to buy this land. It's still quite dark down here, we need the light. We need the sunlight. But now, we're working in a coal mine, going down, down, down. Working in a coal mine. Ooh. All about to slip down. Now you know the reason for the name, Dorsey Cole. Or well, you might not know, depends how old you are, of course. I always remember my dad playing that song to me when I was a kid. Uh, it, it blew my mind. It was amazing. I loved it. Fantastic song. Um, anyway, when I, when I played it to my kids when they were younger, slightly different reaction. <laughs> you get now. What is that? But it's funny. Um, I know I'm doing my usual, just jibber jabbering but um what i love i don't know if you're the same with your kids if you've got kids or however you were brought up um that all the songs that i remember playing and listening to my dad had a very eclectic music taste and i'm the same i'm one of those people if i like a song i like it it's not that oh yeah well, it's not a genre i particularly like if i like it then great you know could be anything could be classical through to r&b rap hip-hop a bit of um, garage, you know, what UK garage and all that kind of stuff. I don't know, it doesn't matter. If I like the sound of a song, it's like, oh, I like that, that's really cool. Um, and a lot of the songs I remember playing to my kids when they were little, and it's that thing of, oh, Dad, what is this rubbish? But what I love now is they're adults, and they've got their playlist of songs and stuff, and you go to my daughter's house, and we'll have parties and stuff here, or I'll hear my kids in the shower listening to music. And a lot of the proper old school songs they love, all the 50s and 60s and 70s, a real mix of stuff all the way through. And we've been to parties with their friends where they're like, how do you know this? What is this? I've never heard this before. And it's, so it's always, I don't know, you kind of grow up under that assumption that everybody, not everybody's brought up the same way. Of course, everyone's not brought up the same way. But you know what I mean? It's that thing of, my kids have always been very much, how have you not heard this song before? But then not everyone grows up listening to music all the time. You know, we, we, we just always have music on whether it's in the house, in the kitchen while we're cooking, whether it was in the car. You know, I remember going to Canada, because you know, I've got relatives in Canada. And we went to Canada a couple of times on holiday. And um, we drove a long journey on a trip um, to a place called Wasaga Beach. And um, they didn't have any music on in the car at all. Didn't put the, the radio on in the car. And it kind of freaked me out a little bit. Well, how would you drive for this amount of time without any music or anything where were we all? We get in the car, bang, on goes the music, we go up to the Lake District, music song, we sing away. I don't know, it's, um... Anyway. All off the back of the Lee Dorsey song. So, uh, yeah. Right, we'll go to the store then. Oh dear. <laughs> Financially. <laughs> what did we start off with? 480 or something, mate? <laughs> Um, 17,000 we've got left. Um, I've leased the this hoe. It, it was 2,000, I think it was, 9 metre. I hope this works because 
I've, I've been caught so many times with the weeding, and again, it's still the bane of my life, my existence. Um, and people say, oh, if you do this, this works, do this, this works. And I find, <laughs> we'll have the same conversation over and over again. This was the harvest that we got um, borrowed. It wasn't ideal, AT, uh, with the header. So what I've purchased then, we already had this. This was what we got cheap. This was like five grand, wasn't it? It was, it was in, not used, but... So we've got maintenance tools already. We needed mining equipment, so we've got that one, mining equipment. That was ten grand. Um, vehicle parts... That was six grand. That's only a thousand liters. These are ten thousand liters each. But the recipe, so the recipe, um, because we've got that big drilling equipment. So the big drilling equipment requires maintenance, vehicle parts, you know, all the stuff, the mining equipment, all the stuff it requires. Um, and then the generator is twelve grand. Now the generator we're going to place out the farm. We'll do that later on. We go over with the hoe to do the weeding. But we are going to need diesel for that. So I'm going to have to get the harvest contract underway because we're going to need um, the harvest contract only pays 14 grand and I think two grand of that is borrowing equipment um, so I mean if I'd have I could have leased a corn header for my harvester but leasing the corn header would have come out at almost as much as borrowing equipment from the farm so it just made sense no not that one um, why? what? there we go don't want to go from that side but that's alright uh, let's lift the header up let's should we'll open up and get down to there. What's going on here? Tell you what, every time I come out of here, somebody is crossing the road and causing absolute chaos. I don't know what's happening here. I hope there's not been an accident. Sorry, an incident. They're not called accidents anymore. A road traffic incident. Accident implies no one's to blame. Incident, somebody's at fault. off let's unfold the bit I always forget to do uh, let's switch to the header let's unfold that I'm not too bothered for getting any corn left if there's any corn left we're probably just going to sell it um, I don't think any of the processes I've got at the farm require corn we can't make corn flour on the production I've got so this actually this is a much bigger field than I originally thought um, this is going to the food processing plant, uh, which is here. So that's where we've got to take it to, um, food factory. Here's a, here's a big one, isn't it? Yeah, and then we'll sort out whatever we're going to do for uh, don't mind zoom down. For the generator, we'll get the, the weeding done and yeah. So yeah, my initial, I didn't even factor in, it was only once I went up there to buy it, so I thought, oh yeah, hang on a minute, we're going to need some extra stuff here. For some reason in my head I thought water, but it wasn't water. Um, we're going to need to go and get some diesel though. Well, what we'll do, we'll use the tank, I think it takes diesel. We'll come up to the gas station, get some diesel. Um, the recipe... Like I say, the recipe only uses for for the different parts of maintenance tools and mining equipment one part of vehicle parts. So we shouldn't get through the vehicle parts too quickly, but I may need to buy a second crate. And when I'm going to spend 12 grand now on the generator to put that in, and then diesel, we're going to be almost out of money. So, um, as I've always said in this game, <laughs> it can take you a long time to earn money. Or, you know, depending on what process you're doing, you might find something that earns you really good money, but blimey, you can blow through it quickly. I mean, absolutely rattle through it. And when you look at a lot of the processes and factories and stuff that are available, especially in a farming area like this, when things are in the millions, yeah, I mean, you need to kind of, you need to find that thing that builds your money up at a fair pace. Because as far as the farm goes, we don't have everything we need for our farm. We have the start equipment, and we've replaced a couple of bits here and there, but we really don't have a lot of a lot of equipment, um, especially if we decide we might do animals and, and stuff as well. We're just not there yet. I know when we were over at Frontier, over there out towards the wall, um, we did all that work with sand and dirt, and we cleared all that stuff, and I mean, it was hours and hours and hours. 
so we'll get this going I'll get a, we'll get a round done and what I'll probably do is I'll run a, run it up the middle so it um, bifurcates the field and then we'll um, let this chug away it looks like it's going to fill up fairly quickly so we're going to have to be jolly on the spot with this that was important I mean, it's fair the farm is just over there so um, when we've got to come far across the field it's not all mining sure we're going to get full round are we before we full we started just over by the lorry so what are we just over a third of the way around maybe hmm. we have a few trips backwards and forwards I think oh it's always difficult so you know where you stand when you're on a, a straight field circular field more oh. I think what you need in game when you change your camera from here to here what you need is a camera down here on either end of the header a little camera view so you can click either way so you can see down at that bottom corner and the other corner exactly where you are with regard to the crop be cool, got a little camera angles down there because I know a lot of um, was it Welker, Welker boys? I'm trying to think who I was watching recently. Um, and they bought, I said recently, it's probably a year ago. My concept of time has gone out the window completely. Um, and they bought you can buy like, extra cameras that plug into a monitor or they wirelessly hook up to a monitor. And it might be Millennial Farm, I'm trying to think now. They had one in the trailer, they had one, you know, they, they just put them all out in different locations. So you could see a lot easier fill it might even be colder corn stuff. So you could see when you were filling and all that kind of stuff. Um, that I think I suppose in real life, because your perspective is a lot easier from this angle, you can lean forward, you can see it's far easier using your own Mark One eyeballs to be able to see what's going on. Whereas I suppose in game your option is to jump out like say have this camera angle but nearly full not quite going to get the way around are we? And then we'll get this going sun's coming up lovely Going at the lorry, and I shall continue. How's everyone doing? Hope everyone's all right. Um, I don't know if you're watching, but if you are, big Papa C, our thoughts and prayers are with you, my friend. Thank you, as always, to everyone who's supporting the channel, whether it be for you, through views, whether it's through, through super stickers, whether it's through. Um, PayPal, however you're supporting the channel, I thank you. I was talking to um, DJ while we were away <coughs> on holiday because recording when you're away is always a tricky prospect. And I've said for a while, I'm not, a, I'm not a big fan of headsets and mics. And my, that's how I used to record headset and mic. I had um, a Turtle Beach Atlas Elite. Elite Atlas, whichever one, and I, I found for me that was the best combo and it worked really, really well. But I don't play a, the game with sound through my headphones. So when I move my studio outside and I could have a separate mic, so my mic is in front of me, I don't have a headset on, I much prefer that. That's just me personally. So when we're away, I still take the headset and mic away, and it's a little bit cumbersome and it gets a bit echoey. So I was talking to DJ about mic options. Um, so yeah, so when I say about thanking everyone for their support of the channel and me and everything that's going on, like I said before, um, donations and um, super stickers and that kind of stuff, it all goes back to the channel. It all goes towards various different things. So hopefully when we go to FarmCon, 
I'm, I'm hoping to do a lot more interviews and stuff with because there's going to be a lot more content creators and people there this year. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to improve what I'm doing. But anyway, thank you, everybody. Heading back for weeding, you can almost guarantee as soon as I get back, that trailer's going to be full. <laughs> and I have to go back over again. Uh, so what I'm going to do is going to put a, put the generator in. I think I'm going to put it down the side of the shed, just so it's out of the way. It doesn't really matter where it gets put down, I don't suppose. I'm going to have to check the um, points for putting in, etc. But what we'll do is, I suppose I should really put the yeah, nearly full grain tank. Do I have a narrow option on these tyres? I don't think there's a narrow option. Let's have a look. Maybe I should put some narrows on. Mind if that's going to cost me money, that might not be such a good idea. <laughs> and if this hoe doesn't work, ooh, it definitely said hoe. It definitely said that's what's required. Drop that down. So, oh, I put the silo there, didn't I? Um, where am I going to put this generator? So the generators should be on under production and well generators. There you go. Twelve grand diesel generator. Can we change the colour of it? No. Uh, so I'm assuming it's an assumption that it'd be that way round, would it? So I just stuck it on here, maybe. Or do I want to tuck it out of the way so you can't really see it? Maybe around the back of here might not be a bad idea. That's pretty much 12 grand on the nose, isn't it? Uh, but I do need to double check the um, the iconography. Let's just go to the workshop trigger and see if I can put some narrows on this. It doesn't matter, it's, it's not going to be a problem, but I probably should do just for uh... well, Let's customise. Oh no, music, sorry, hang on. Well, it's a standard. I mean, they're not, I mean, they're narrower than they were. And it, also, they're a lot smaller, so it's dropped the whole rig right down, but... Let's at least get the weeding started. Make sure it works. Now, I could have used the pivot irrigation system and made herbicide. But that doesn't always work. Please be good to me. Looks like it's working. Is it working? Yeah, so it looks like it is. Easiest way to tell. These, ugh, these dastardly things. Look at them. Yuck. Yep. Has it missed some? Hmm, hard to tell. Yeah, better be getting them all. Let's double check this. Uh, we want that, and then we want... Oh no, hang on. That, that, that. Oh yeah, it is doing it. All good. Well, I've got to stop. You go and unload the trailer. So as I'm going around, obviously I am also aware there are all different ways of removing weeds. I know on um, Carpathian, especially with precision farming on, if you've got the um, spot application sprayers, because there are a few different ones, they're quite expensive to buy initially. Um, even the smaller ones are a little bit more pricey. And I would need the crop sensors and that kind of stuff. Um, 
and I could go around and it would literally just remove the weeds that are there. I've got to go across the whole thing at the moment to do it this way. Um, this is kind of what I was talking about on my Mars video the other day about technology and the advancements of technology and where we've come to. That it's it's that kind of um, I was going to use a very strange analogy then, but it's, it's oh, I'm not going to because it's horrific. But um, it's that broad spectrum I suppose like an antibiotic then like a broad spectrum antibiotic here take this this cures all um, and it, this should pick off whatever it is that's wrong with you compared to something is a targeted medicine that is for a particular thing and that's the difference I'm gonna go across the entire field with this to get rid of the weeds now admittedly even with the spot application sprayer uh, a boom sprayer I've still got to go across the entire field but it will only pick out the weeds that it needs to remove, um, which is kind of the point of it. Um, and if you're using drone technology, you can go out to these patches where you can see them all, and you just spray the patches. Um, I know people are still speculating a lot about FS25, what we're going to get, what they want to see. I was talking to Miss Silly P about this the other day. Um, it's always interesting, and, and I suppose you have to kind of look at it like this, is think about things that, if you were giants, something that would take in a lot of people something that a lot of people might think oh this is really handy we could do with this if it's something very niche that you personally think i would love to see this in game if it's something that potentially not many other people might be interested in you've got to think would giants put that in so it's always that thing when the new version of the game comes out people of course aren't you know some, majority of people will be happy with what they got some people will be ecstatic because all the things they wanted they got um, and there'll be people that didn't get any of the things they were hoping they were going to get um, and you've got to just kind of look at it like that is what what can be put in what's going to be workable what's going to appeal to the masses I suppose that's the thing isn't it um, I don't know how I got into talking about that anyway I was saying about yeah, spot application drones I was thinking about drones that's what it was um, and some of these new technologies and I have to say I unless I'm misremembering I'm sure when the season year two season pass came out I thought we were supposed to be getting more precision farming related I thought something precision farming was supposed to be coming out um, not that um, I know when they announced the year two season pass it wasn't in there but I could have sworn we were supposed to be getting more on precision farming but that might be coming in new version of the game again that's speculation I don't know don't take it as red, don't go and tell. But Mr. CP said there's going to be more. And I, I, honestly, I don't know. I'm going to go and have to unload. I said, I said, unload the trailer, unload the harvester into the trailer. So both of these jobs need to be done. As you can see, the money is right down now. We're down to 5,000. I have put the generator in. Um, I don't know what to do about diesel. I'm, I'm going to get a little bit. I'm not going to go mad. I'm not going to fill the tank. Probably get a thousand litres, maybe. And take that over because I don't want to bring it over and find the diesel generator takes 50 litres or something. I go and buy 6,000 litres of diesel and it only takes, you know, um, 50 litres or something ridiculous. There are small oil drums and oil cans. I might have to have a look around. I've used those before and maybe do what I've been doing with the um, um, the concentrate for the liquid fertiliser. Maybe buy a few little jerry cans and have them sat by the side of it so we can top it up every now and again. I can go and pick those up in the pickup and. Um, Okay, last bit, 10,664 litres going in. I've already delivered two full loads at 59,400. The contract is saying 79% delivered, so that the field is cleared. The weeding is done. I did, because I hired a worker, we've gone below. We've gone sub 5,000. <laughs> so I'm hoping there is some corn left over from this and we get paid for it. I mean, corn's not worth a huge amount, but being paid for it will certainly help get that folded up job done hop into this and then what we'll do we'll oh we need to sort the diesel out don't we? we need to go up to the store load up the flatbed head up to the mine, deliver the products we've got to deliver, and then hopefully we'll be able to set that running. Like I say, I don't know 
I'm trying to think from Frontier, because we had the mine there, but that wasn't coal, that was um, ore, wasn't it? Um, it was ore, was it stones and ore? It wasn't coal, so um, I'm not sure how, yeah, how quickly it's going to get through the stuff. Hopefully not too quickly, but if it does mean we need to purchase some more vehicle parts, what I'll do is probably do what I've done before, we'll go and get some more um, liquid fertiliser concentrate run it through our fertilizer production system and then we'll sell some fertilizer at the end of the day why not it's a product like any other so we'll do that I haven't had many weeding contracts come up and there's some there's some big fields that need weeding which i thought would pay quite nicely we've got a couple of weeding contracts come up and there's a cotton field some hope hopefully a cotton contract will come up i'm very wary of cotton because when we did it on um court farm it wouldn't complete, we had a lot of problems with it. I mean, that's not to say it won't on this, it's a completely different style of map and a completely different map maker, but it just leaves you wary, you know? So what we're gonna do is deliver this here. It should complete the contract, and if there's any left over, we'll get a little bit of pay from it. I don't know if it will. Just thinking how much is in here, 39, maybe. That'll do. Extra 7,000 on top. That's all right. I'm not, I'm not as panicked now. <laughs> Getting below 5,000, I was like, oh no, that's not good. So we'll get this taken back. Actually, we need to take back the uh, hoe as well. And um, and then get the low loader over. Yeah, over to the store. The diesel situation. I don't know what to do. Um, whether to look for some diesel drums and go in the pickup, or should I just whiz over in the pickup now to the gas station? Just put a little bit in. We have got a fuel tank here, haven't we? The farm. How much is in that? Maybe we can just put a little bit in that. Oh, it's full. I thought we'd filled up. Oh, that's all right. If we've got 5,000 litres in there, we'll just use a bit from that. Assuming it will let me put it into the little tank. Oh, that's all right. I was worried about having to spend a load of money on diesel. We'll do that for the time being. So, let's do that. Let's grab the pickup. Actually, we can do it by tractor, doesn't matter. We haven't got to go far, have we? Let's grab the deer. That's what I might do. I might load the... Uh the hoe onto the low loader and then take it over in one go. Makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah, will this allow me to put it from the diesel tank into this? I might do. So I don't want to take too much and be left with a load of diesel in here. No! Don't have to buy another trailer at the moment. There's probably a flatbed back or a, the, the transport back for the um, pickup. But again, that's extra money. I think if I can just go and buy fuel drums, that's the best bet. Right, let's leave that there for the moment. So that needs to go back. Harvester needs to go back. Low loader. That was good to go. Should be able to get both containers and the vehicle parts from that. Right. 
I think I want to put some normal wheels back on this. I don't, it looks really weird, it's quite low. I prefer it with the, the chunky boys on. Is that going to reverse onto there or not? Maybe not. So I'm going to hit, oh no, alright. Kind of. Please stay there. <laughs> right. I'll tidy up the yard in a little while, don't you worry. That seems fixed in place. We're at the store and I've bought this diesel barrel, barrels should I say, 1,050 for 1,500 litres. So I'm going to load this onto the pickup, I bought the pickup up. Um, there were the smaller jerry cans, they were $20 for 20 litres and I thought, to be honest with you, for ease of use, and what we can do, we can put this down by the side of the generator. If it takes all of this, it takes all of it, if it doesn't, it doesn't, that's not too much of a problem. Strap down. Okay, hold that. And what we're going to do now is hopefully uh, what we need to do is open those back out again to over there. Which I don't know if I'm going to get both on here. Might have to overhang off the back. <laughs> don't really mind. So we can get these up to the coal mine. But I need to get the. Um, Diesel actually could have gone all the way out, couldn't I? Yeah. Let's get the diesel into the generator first because we need um, electricity being produced. Oh, is, we're a bit wobbly. Yeah, actually, these are a lot longer. I seem to recall now from Frontier, they look a lot smaller on the ground until you get a trailer and then you're like, oh, hang on a minute. Straps. I'll just give that a little bit of a nudge from the side. Straighten up a little bit. <laughs> I'll put a hole in the side of it. Um, just think if I can shove that right up, can I get reach with these forks? Um, we are going to overhang by a long way. <laughs> Proper long low, this one. I don't know, will, will it? No. Nope. I'd need a telly handle, wouldn't I? Oh, that's frustrating. If I put the other one on, I can just push them both up, I suppose. What I need to do is drive this forward. Sorry, I know this is a lot of. Uh, so what I'll do just to move it. Let's do uh, at least one strap. <laughs> Back up on that and get that out of the way. And I'll head over to the farm in a minute. Deliver that. And I'll leave that strap for the moment in case I knock it. I shouldn't, but you never know. I was going to say, I've got another contract come up. I've got a few contracts come up. And by that one there, harvesting pays 5,000 something, I'm going to... Do. Oh, I've done it again, I didn't borrow the equipment. I'm going to need a corn header. I was going to say, I borrowed equipment, but I haven't, because it would all be sat here. Oh, it doesn't matter, really. Um, and the old American grain mill. 
Oh, it takes corn because it can do pig food. That's frustrating. So I won't get paid for it then because I own it. Anyway, we can complete this contract. 12,198 if we collect on that. Hang on. That's a 12,000 something. 14,4. Contract reward. So. That's taken way off. Why is that not completing? What's going on? Completed. Collect. There's no missing crops. Reimbursement. That's changed. That said 14,000 and something. Why has that now gone to 11 and I'm losing money? Something strange is going on here and now it won't complete. I've never had that happen before. Why can't I complete the contract? Um... What has happened? What has got... Oh, please tell me there's not a problem on here. I've done other contracts. I've done other harvesting contracts. This hasn't had an update. Why has that suddenly gone... Why has that gone peak toll? Oh, this is going to overhang by a fair bit, isn't it? Sorry, HMG. <laughs> I know there's going to be a few people watching that are that do this for a living. I hope I still have a tip off that. Let's do that. Let's do that. I am baffled by that contract. Why is that not? Because all that is showing that it's done over there on the field. All the stuff's gone. The stubble's gone. <laughs> I'm gonna have to make a note. That definitely said. For I'm gonna have to make some notes when I do my editing. Because if that goes wrong, I'm gonna have to claim that back. That's very strange. And the lease cost was not, I'm sure it wasn't that high. And they've changed the price of what that contract was. That's disgraceful. Can't do that midway through. I accepted that contract in good faith. And completed it. In good humour. Right. Give these a shove. Oh, is that it? Yep. <laughs> okay, well. Main. If I had a longer trailer, it'd be alright, wouldn't it? So, you know, I'm sure it's okay. Don't tell the authorities, please. Now this should, and I'm, again, I'm making an assumption here because I'm trying to remember the last time I've used one of these trailers, whether or not there's a tension strap at the top end. I'm sure there is. Got a funny feeling I'll have to edit chunks out of this again. Please be a strap. Just one. There we go. Look at that. And I'll say it sometimes. Sometimes it's like I know what I'm doing. Other times, not so much. Better. This is sort of one of those times. I mean, like I say, that's not. 
I wouldn't say that's legal anywhere. <laughs> Right, so, ends up on that. Let's take the diesel back, get the generator running, and then we'll get up to the coal mine, deliver that, and we'll be job done, and then I need to work out what's going on with this contract. I've got a funny feeling I'm going to come back on here, and that'll have vanished, so it won't let me complete it, and then it will have disappeared. Something's definitely gone wrong. The question now, of course, is how much diesel will the generator take? What you take like 50 litres? It's going to be ridiculous. Or it will take all of it. It's going to be one or the other. Imagine it could be in between. It could take some of it and not all of it. Let's open the boot. Take any of it under the straps, maybe. Oh, you are joking me. Why have we not? I can just damage that enough. Get that to fall off the back. Nope, it's probably sitting too high. What a palaver. So, I bought the diesel barrels. That didn't work. So I went and got these. I've got some in the back. These are the 20 litre jerry cans. There was a little jerry can sat there, which seems to have disappeared. So in the back of here, I've got some jerry cans. They didn't work. So I've gone and got this. Fuel tank, trailer, wasn't very expensive. So I've put some in, as you can see, the top barrel's gone. Backed up. There you go. You have to get quite close to triggers us there. That can't be it. Please tell me after all that, that's that's not it. <laughs> 200 litres. <laughs> after all that mucking around. Right, let's turn that on. Right, so that's going to produce electric charge. Uh, 1 to 4, so it will increase. I've set that to distributing, so that should distribute out. We'll see. <laughs> oh man, what a nightmare. So what I'm going to do now, I can close the door on this. Let's close that up. So just have that showing there. That's running. So what I want to do now is just top this fuel tank out. I might as well. It's crazy, isn't it? That it wouldn't take it from any of those other sources other than the trailer. So I don't want to go expensive. I want to get something really cheap. I'm going to fill this trailer up. I think it takes 2,500 litres. So with what I've got, it should take it all. And I'll leave that sat by the side so we can top this up whenever we need to. Take it the cherry can as well. Yes, so what I'll do then is do that. Got the cherry cans out. We are going to get over to the coal mine, I promise you. Drop that there. Anyway, yes, yeah, so we know it's working. The generator is now working, but if you've had any problems with it, um, for this very reason, you might decide you want to. It only takes 200 litres, um, and it doesn't seem to want to take it from anything else other than um, a trailer. Yeah. I suppose just the way the trigger is configured. So, I'm going to see up at the coal mine with all our stuff. We'll get up there and get it delivered. Oh, I was right what I said. I've come back in and that contract, the wooden complete, has, dis has disappeared. It's gone. But a cultivating one has popped up, so I'm going to grab that. So I'm going to have to claim 
compensation back. I'm going to have to check my figures and see what I should have been paid. Um, and then we'll claim that back. So, potentially. So you're up at Dorsey Cole. I decided to head up the roadway um, rather than come over the rickety bridge. <laughs> I was just concerned about the whole load going over. But what I am concerned about is crossing the rail tracks because the rail tracks at the bottom, um, we got a little bit stuck. It was the landing gear of the trailer. Kind of got hooked. Hoping we'll be all right. Now I know the train's already gone past, so I haven't got to worry about that. Oh, no, that was all right. Now, the next problem is just problem after problem. Is whether or not the unload point, I can get the whole trailer in. So if I can't, it means I've got to, I've got to bring up the low, uh, the um, wheel loader to unload the trailer, potentially. I'm definitely going to need some dump trucks. We need a proper, a proper dozer as well. We do have the, um, what do we have now? The D7, D11, do we still have the D11? I'm trying to remember now what we've got mixing up my memories from FS19 and FS22 so it should be just around the corner here I don't know how to say how far in we're going to need to go I'm just thinking I might well need to uh, bring up the wheel loader which would be frustrating if I do there we go it's taking that so hopefully it'll take the other one as well there we go so all that will be left, hopefully, will be the vehicle parts. I wonder if I can drive forwards in for that. Potentially. Right, that's that done, that done. And then it will just be on the hour, whatever air there is, uh, not air, electricity there is, should transfer over, and then we can set this off and running. Please take this going in forward. There we go, sorted. I'm very happy, right. Um, I don't need to swing round. I mean, if this, if this, what I've just put in here, lasts a long time, and what we get out of it, obviously the whole premise behind any business, we need to make sure that what we're getting out is worth more than what we've put in. Um, each of those containers was 10 grand normally, but one I got for five, so I got a little bit cheaper. The vehicle parts were six. We've then put the generator, but the generator's an ongoing thing. Um, and then there's the money for the diesel. So as long as when that all runs out, we've made more than 26 grand, then we've made a profit. That's where we need to be. So the problem is now everything's in here, apart from electric charge. So... This won't be showing on here, will it? The production? Electric charge. There we go. We've got four litres of electric charge. So what we'll do now is I'll let that chug on the hour. We'll come back over to here. We'll turn that on and then we should be getting product. And then once the product is building up, we should then be able to go down into the coal mine, the coal face, and we should be able to gather up what we need. It's that ironic thing because I couldn't get the generator to work. I thought, okay, this is weird because I need the generator to produce electricity. I need the electricity here at the coal mine to produce coal to take down to the refinery to produce electricity. If I can't get the generator to work, how do I get this to... There are a few other different facilities. There are a few different mods and stuff that do produce electricity as well. But it was that thing I thought, suddenly thought, um, what do I do? You can't just go and buy batteries and bring those over. That's not going to work either. So see you on the hour and we'll um, get this off and running. And then officially, Dorsey Coal... It's back up and running. Actually, I wonder, can I go into here? Oh, I was really hoping I'd be able to click on the building and uh, change the name of it as the Wayne Station. Don't think I can. That would have been cool. Just gone 10 o'clock. Let's go and check. Hopefully we've got some. There we go. Electric charge, 14 litres. I don't know how long that's going to last. <laughs> and let's extract mineral coal. So that'll all start chugging away. We now own the mine. It's all running, operating. 
and we'll get the better end products out. Then we'll have a look at other products around that we can utilize these things to start off with what we might just end up doing is just selling it because I can't afford to buy a refinery. There is the small refinery up the hill, which we could use that potentially. But for the time being, if we're producing coal, we're just going to get the coal out and we'll sell it. We'll sell the products that are there. And for a while, we're going to let this chug and make some money. Um, I've got another harvest contract to do and I've got a cultivating contract to do. But for this episode, at least, there's been a bit of a trial here and there, but um, we're done. I'm going to put in my compensation claim to get my money back from my harvest. I mean, to be fair, I did make I did make seven grand. Well, that's, that's chugging up quite fast, isn't it? That's pretty cool. Um, we did make seven grand on selling the corn, but then I still I need to be paid for the contract. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching. <laughs>